Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today we're checking out Synthmaster 1 by KV331 Audio. Synthmaster 1 is a really versatile synth, kind of like what you might think of when you think of Silent. Although you can add wavetables inside of Synthmaster 1, which is super great. And if you have any other wavetable synths, you probably already have some extra wavetables laying around. So you can actually drop, say, Serum's wavetables into Synthmaster 1's library and use them inside of Synthmaster 1 and vice versa. You can use Synthmaster 1's wavetables inside of Serum. So if I come over here to this wavetable here and come down to wavetables, you'll see that down here I already have some of Serum's default wavetables loaded up inside of here, and it's really simple to use them. So if I go ahead and just choose this one, and go ahead and choose this one, now I'm going to be, well, and go ahead and turn another digital down here, Razor. Now I'm going to be using wavetables from Serum inside of Synthmaster 1 to generate sounds. And the index slider will allow you to cycle through the different waveforms inside of the wave table. So if you look right here in the window, you can see that it's cycling through there. And if I want to change that using the mod wheel on my keyboard, I simply right click, learn MIDI for current preset, and then come down here and click the mod wheel. And now as I drag up and down, you'll see that the index and the wavetable position is moving, and that's hunky dory. So if I go over here and do the same thing, um, come down to the index and do it again and now we're good to go and that's the same way you're going to, you can do anything um, or route anything to the mod wheel down here you just got to right click so for instance the delay here right click learn MIDI for current preset and click wherever you want it to be routed to you can also do that for any of the LFO mod envelopes amp envelopes stuff like that pretty straightforward stuff as you can see here, we've got two main oscillators and each one of the oscillators comes with its own sub generator. So as you can imagine, we can get some pretty large sounds. There are two filters, two LFOs, two mod envelopes, and two amp envelopes as well. Inside of this main panel, we've got kind of how the audio is routed through the synthesizer. We can do the filters in series, parallel, or split. Down here we have the effects panels, we have distortion, reverb, chorus, delay, compression, and equalization. And each one of them has its own menu if you click on them and you can turn them off or on independently. There's also an arpeggiator, which you can turn on or off and record right here. So if I wanna go ahead and turn it on and come over to the arpeggiator, here's where I can make some decisions. There's a swing duration, which is gonna be how long those notes happen. <laughs> You can also choose to turn the arpeggio off here. Same with the effects panel if you're going to be using your own effects inside of your DAW. Let's go ahead and check out some other presets though. Some of these arpeggios are my favorites. As you can see here, we've got two pages of arpeggio. So you can get quite involved with the arpeggiator. We've got sequence mode, chord mode, up, down, up, plus, down, up, plus, down, two, down, up, down up to and as played which is going to be your record thing this is how many steps you can have up to 16 up to four different octaves for the range and your different time signatures down here So that's pretty nice, that's that Stranger Things. Let's check out some more presets. And if you come over to the preset, all presets, you'll see that it's quite a long list and you'll have to come down here and hit the down button. But if you don't wanna do that, you can always hit the browse button over here and you'll be able to search through things much quicker using some of these filters. Different authors, whoever made the presets, different instrument types. So if we go to lead, we'll get some leads down here. <laughs> Check out some plug sounds. Mm -hmm. 
There's some sequences here. Check out dubstep. So that's your traditional Hoover, but sounds pretty large. Let's see. Turn off lead. Let's see what we got for dubstep bass style. I like that one. So as you can tell, we've got quite a wide range of sounds. If you look down, let's check out reggae here. And what do we got here for reggae? Scoopy humming. It reminds me of Scooby Doo. I don't know if it's because of the similarity in the name there, but. Tons of presets. The way I've been using the synth is finding a preset that sounds similar to something I might want to use inside of a track and then going ahead and editing it uh, as I see fit using some of the modulation matrix settings, LFOs and such. It's a really big synth. Highly suggest checking it out. You can download the demo now on Plugin Boutique. Go check it out. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.